Everybody, today I'm making a deco mesh Christmas wreath with this mesh as my jumping off point. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who I am. I don't know what year it is. But I'm trying to get through my deco mesh that I have because I have a bunch coming tomorrow. Most of that's for my Christmas tray, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna chop it in. <laughs> it's like we don't have scissors at the factory. Somebody just chew that off. Okay, so I'm going to. Let's see, six, five and a half, five, four and a half, four and a half, four, four, maybe six, I don't know. Six, I mean, let's do this. Let's do a giant bow with this pretty, pretty ribbon. This was six dollars, which it's only 20 feet, which is like, what, five, six yards? She's giving me problems. Let's do this at six and a half. I'm just making a funky bow because the last time I made a funky bow, it came out really good. And I made two more and they both came out really good. And then I stuck them on that gnome wreath, which I just edited today. And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? How much Sudafed did you take? Here's my reform. Look at my. I made like 15 of these the other day. I was like, I gotta get those done so I can do the tray. Alright, so I'm going to start. Let me show you my deco mesh. It's in a nice big laundry basket that's on balancing precariously on top of my garbage can. Very cool, very, very organized. This is the bottom mesh. It is a jute. Uh, with red, white, and emerald foil. And this is a red and green with, I guess it's a red and lime with emerald foil. And I'm just going to start on the outside. And yeah, these were 20 inches. I had somebody ask me, they were like, how long is the mesh cut? And I was like, did you not watch the video? Is that what people, they see the thing and they're like, oh, let me just ask instead of actually watching the video. Huge pet peeve. But to each their own.
Okay, so this is all in. It took a while. I'm going to add, do you want to add some of this now? I do, but I don't. I need to cut some tubing, which well, I'm going to do that off camera because that's a pain. I know I'm going to have to cut this longer, so. Stay there. And I just realized that I already filmed the beginning of this video when I made this bow. But maybe I'm going to put the bow after this part of the video. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Let's cut these at like 14. Alright, I'm going to do something controversial here. I'm going to include, instead of wiring these in separately, I'm going to wire these onto the ribbon that's already there. So I want one down here. Just making sure that I could be set up really good. I hope my burritos are still hot. Then to spread these out, yeah, you can see that. Just gonna make sure that you can see. on first and put the the smaller ribbons on top but it is what it is okay so there's one here let's do one here two no two three four five Do I want another one here? Do I? Bow, bow, sign? Alright, you get out of here. I should have bought every spool of that. Okay, where is my, can I get this bow down? Like, oh, oh, it just fell, oh, it fell, oh, it fell, it fell. It, fell. it was hanging from my, my, um, my curtain rod. move this one down here because this has extra long tails on it but you know so that'll go let me pull out what am I doing oh not that much we don't need to see my belly well it'll be crap all over the place um yeah so this will go here like right there something I don't know like I want not Mike Pence, get away from me, fly. Um, not this, obviously, because this is for my tree, but, you know, some ornaments. Um, did y'all see this video yet? I hope you guys have seen this video yet. Alrighty, look at that. I am just like, oh, I want this, I want, I'm like, I'm trying to find fabric like this, because I want this for my tree next year. This one doesn't look right. <laughs> Something like that. But I'm going to go eat, and I will pick this up tomorrow. We will finish everything up. And I will have some tubing cut. And you will be quiet because you're a bad puppy. Look how big this thing is. I posted pictures of this on Instagram. Because I put it in here and I was like, is, is this too big? Because it's, I mean, it's this is my hand. It's as big as my hand and I have big man hands. That's what everybody says. They're like, Adam with the man hands. That's what they call me. Um, so. Okay, let me just throw that one over there. It really doesn't matter which one I use. I originally was going to put one here. And one here, but now my sign is going to go over here, and I don't want to overwhelm anything. So this one's going to go right up here. How are we going to do this, y'all? I don't know that that's going to hold great, but...
stay there. I think. I hope that's where you're gonna stay. All right, I want this elf hat goes just a little bit underneath. in there. That's in there. I don't know if I want to add the second. Oh. Because this one was going to go over here. Which I think they kind of like. Oh man. These ornaments are the hardest to find at Dollar Tree. Something about that green. So, yeah, that is our last swag ribbon and the last Dollar Tree awareness ribbon swag. Unless somebody finds a bunch and wants to send them to me. Also, could you guys please send my dog some dream bones? He doesn't understand why I stopped buying them. But he doesn't, also doesn't understand that they're $10 a bag and it's ridiculous. But he would love those. I will get him some before I go on my shopping trip next. Oh, it's this month. Oh, it's this month I get money. Um, I will buy him some. And he will be excited. He's, he knows I'm done. He's like tap dancing on the chair behind me. Okay, so here it is. Of course, you will see her in all her glory once I get it outside. And it's pitch black right now. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, Dollar General commented on my picture. Adam Shenavo, you are slaying your holiday decor game. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and they spelled it, so wait, hold on. They spelled it, wait, cancel. They spelled it slaying, look. Oh, Dollar General, if you love me so much, send me money. Come on. All right, guys, next video sponsored by Dollar General. Cross your fingers. Let's get the 5K for Christmas. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um... <laughs>